The crowds will begin arriving soon in Times Square here in New York City. Up to a million folks are expected to watch the ball drop at midnight tonight to welcome the new year. Correspondent Seth Dona is at the crossroads of the world with a look at some of the last minute preparations. Seth, good morning. Good morning to you, Russ, and Happy New Year. Yes, the crowds have not quite yet assembled here. It is still early, but you can tell that they soon will. Police have erected barricades not only here in Times Square, but for blocks around Times Square in an effort for crowd control. Here in the center of everything, there are already risers established for performers like Lady Gaga, who will entertain the masses. After all, tonight is Times Square's night on the world stage. Happy New Year! Before a million revelers descend here, some lucky passers-by got a sort of New Year's sneak peek. Handfuls of confetti were tossed earlier this week in an airworthiness test in Times Square. One ton of confetti will flutter through these streets as that famous ball drops. High above Times Square, workers made last-minute adjustments to the 12-foot-wide, nearly 12,000-pound Waterford crystal ball. It's heavier than two pickup trucks and has more than 2,500 crystal triangles bolted to its aluminum frame. And each year, Waterford actually changes 288 of the triangles. So this year is Let There Be Friendship. Last year was Let There Be Love. We've had Let There Be Joy, Let There Be Courage. It really is a whole patchwork of our hopes and dreams on that Times Square ball. Preparations are underway across the country, from Pasadena's Rose Parade to Georgia, where they'll ring in the new year with a peach. An orange will mark midnight in Florida. But most of the country will be focused on Times Square. That's why thousands of NYPD officers, some in plain clothes, will be on patrol, many wearing special radiation detectors. This is a radiation detector that police officers wear in this holster. A reminder that Times Square is a target came in the summer of 2010, when a would-be car bomber left a truck packed with propane in the middle of this crossroads of the world. Now, when we were down at police headquarters yesterday getting a sense for some of the security measures they're taking, they showed us these cameras that are trained all around parts of Times Square and much of Manhattan. They can actually recognize anything suspicious. So if someone were to leave, say, a package unattended for a couple of minutes, they would recognize that sound and alarm, and they could send a police officer over to take a look. Just one of the many policing measures that will be on display tonight. And one other note, you can see how I'm dressed. It's relatively warm here for this time of year, so police are expecting record crowds, Russ. All right, Seth Doan in Times Square. Thanks a lot. We'll see you later.